Question 2a. Some transition element complexes show stereoisomerism. State two types of stereoisomerism shown by the transition element complexes. Okay, basically it's just uh, geometrical, means a cis-trans isomerism and the optical isomerism. Okay, part B. The complexes of these are, this is the plating. It can be cis-plating or trans-plating and is a uh, square planar geometry okay all of you should know by now a uh, plating is always planar structure square planar and now we have the pt the platinum with two en and <clears throat> this one have the similar geometry with the plating so we know that this pt en2 two positive this uh, complex it has the square planar structure like this and the plating exists as two stereoisomers okay, the cis plating and trans plating whereas this PTEN2 2 positive it just has one possible structure which is this one no cis trans okay, state the geometry around the metal ion okay, square planar Okay, part C. The complex uh, chromium with 3 En exists as two stereoisomers, uh, which is the optical isomers. Okay, this one uh, most of you should know. And whereas the complex with uh, this <coughs> bidentate ligand the, um, with uh, one uh, oxygen donor, and one nitrogen donor. So this is a bidentate ligand. So this complex ion exists as four stereoisomers. Complete the 3D diagram in the following figure, show all the four stereoisomers. And just use this one to represent the bidentate ligand. So again, this bidentate ligand is has two donor atom, which is the oxygen, or the oxide and the nitrogen on the amine. <clears throat> so you just need to draw uh, something like this. Okay, first you have to draw um, the mirror images. Okay, let's start with this one and this one. Okay, so first uh, let's draw all the oxygen, let's say oxygens and nitrogen. They are all in the same plane. All in the same plane and nitrogen also they are all in the same plane right okay so once you draw this uh, isomer then you have to draw is a uh, mirror image make sure <clears throat> is follow okay this one yeah this one is follow and this one also follow the position and this one also follow the position okay so this one they are the mirror images that not super impossible and another uh, change that you need to do or you need to make is uh, you try to switch the oxygen and nitrogen to different side okay switch this oxygen and nitrogen Okay, therefore, oxygens and nitrogens, now they are not in the same plane. So the bond angle between them, the O, C, R, O, now O, C, R, O, they are 90 degree. So which means they are not really in the same plane now. Okay, so once you switch that, then you draw another uh, mirror images here. Okay, so this will be another uh, stereoisomers. Uh, this is how you solve this question. You just need to do the 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 switch of these uh, oxygens and this nitrogen is position, and <clears throat> you draw the mirror image. Okay, total is four stereoisomers. Okay, so for part D. <clears throat> so for this uh, reaction, uh, you have to draw a mechanism. First, it start with uh, this. Uh, 
oxy ring. So this one uh, reacts with the ammonia okay, to form two amino ethanol. So this is just uh, the guides for you. Okay, so this is what you need to do for part one. Suggest the mechanism for step one of the reactions of uh, oxyrane with uh, uh, ammonia. Okay, include all the relevant uh, arrows, lone pair, electrons, uh, charge, partial charge, and so on. Okay, so first you need to start with the partial charge. Um, so here, the one of the carbon you just uh, label as partial positive. Oxygen is partial negative. Okay, so arrow from the lone pair point to this partial positive carbon, and the CO bond break show the arrow from the CO bond right to oxygen. Okay, after that, this oxygen, which get the uh, the pair of electrons, will form the oxide here. And the nitrogens here will form new bonding with the carbon, the partial positive carbon, and it will form the ammonium here. Okay, of course, if you uh, go through another one, one more step to form this product, two amino uh, ethanol. Okay, so the um, uh, ammonium part here, the one of the NH1 will break, means the ammonium now need to undergo the protonation. Um, and eventually, uh, the protons that removed, it will uh, gain by the oxide, this one, to form the OH. Okay, this one. So it will form these products. Okay, this is the mechanism for this reaction. Okay, so for part two, a small amount of uh, byproduct E, um, this one in figure 2.4 is produced during the reaction in the figure 2.2 means uh, in this this reaction so some of the byproducts will form this one means extra one group here so from here we know that uh, the one that uh, reacts with the oxyrane is not really ammonia is the product itself so the <clears throat> the two amino ethanol this one it's a uh, reacts with the reactant and form this byproduct so from here we know that the nit <coughs> the amine group here so it will attack this partial positive carbon and they will further react and form these byproducts so therefore in order so, uh, to minimize the formation of e we just need to put more ammonia when there is more ammonia then ammonia will react with the oxyrate right so this is how to minimize the byproducts e okay part three compound f c4h9no can be formed from the reaction of byproduct E with concentrated H2SO4. Okay, this one we know that concentrated H2SO4 uh, it will be uh, it it can be elimination, it can be a condensation. It depends on uh, what uh, its form. So from here it's quite clear that okay because now it starts from this one F. Uh, this one and O2 ah, byproduct E okay so this one is the E this one is the F that form okay so because you say that form from the reaction of byproduct E right okay so now we know that E form F so we compare before we draw the structure we try to compare the, uh, the formulas C uh, is Add H2O or is remove H2O and so on. Okay, so by comparing the E and F, we know that uh, is need to remove H2O. So one H2O removed, so it will form this F. Okay, means the
the E here need to minus H2O to form C4H9NO. And from here, very important hints is the compound F, which is the product, is a saturated compound and it must have a basic organic compound, which means saturated, okay, it will not have CC double bond. Okay, therefore, we know that it must be a cyclic. And another one, basic organic compound means it must have amine group. So these are the two things that uh, the F must have in order to, to give the correct answer. Okay, so we know that get the E, which is the byproduct just now, okay, if you undergo condensation, so the H2O will remove here and this O will form new bonding with the carbon. So it will form this cyclic. So this H2O will be removed and the cyclic will form. So therefore, this is the final answer that you should give. Right? So you just draw this structure. Okay, so this is the F. And of course, the type of reaction is the condensation. Right? Okay, so uh, I hope you understand okay, uh, for this uh, question. Thank you.